Welcome to Factorio Base in a Book. My name is Nilaus and we are at episode 19. Right, I'm actually super happy with where we are and what we're doing. So what I'd like to do this episode is just continue to scale up. We have a, a number of things that I'd like to do. And f let me just get my notes up and running here on the other thing. I want to make sure that we replace the fuel here. Let's uh, actually get started on that. And then we have a number of things in the base that sort of takes the next step up. In, in terms of what it is we want for a base such as this. And that will be, uh, I'll take three of those maybe. Uh, are they getting here? Yeah, we have 31 in logistics stores. So that's good. Okay, I can just take copy. All right, so we have some things that are, now that we have production science, let's take a look at those. And those are specifically, ah, uh, that didn't work. There, you are. now it worked, cool. And the specifically, they are blue belts. We want to increase our, uh, start upgrading some of the modules here and there. Oops, don't stand on belts or stand on tracks. That's good. Uh, we want to build a spider tron. We want to do rocket parts. We want to uh, blue belts. You know, there's, there's a lot of things we'd like to do. So that's, uh, that's going to be pretty good at getting those up and running soon enough. And uh, that one here. And we'll just roam all the way around. I'm not going to be updating the blueprint for this just for, for this single little thing. I'll wait until we have an upgrade, such as when we make blue belts, which is going to be quite a while longer because uh, there is really no good reason to... Go oh, what's that problem here? Oh, yeah, that one is not... We're not getting enough. Uh, this one is not good enough. So really, we'd like to get maybe that one, but eventually. But it's also it depends on on copper. Right now we're not using as much copper as we uh, as we will later on. The reason why we're not using as much copper right now is because we're not started using circuits like really intensely and that's going to be one of the next things. Like really intensely using circuits for specifically for modules but also for rocket for rocket control units that kind of thing. Uh, this one is okay everything is coming in now that's good. I'm going to just get some of this. Oh, did, what did I do? Okay, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> um, oh, that's not really not what I want. Oh, now I know why. That's because I thought I had a mod enabled that allows me to shift C, but C is just shooting. And when you have uranium bullets, they shoot fast. So yeah, I didn't want that anyway. I wanted to replace that and rebuild it again. Whoops. I wonder if I actually... Can these be... Oh yeah, let's do that. All right, just want to make sure that we have all of these things operational. This one has 100 needs. How much we got here? Uh, it's 35,000. So I just want, don't want these to run out, run to go full. They are actually getting full. Okay, so I'm gonna just make another little row of this. It's a bit silly, but we'll take copy that one and actually to make sure that they are aligned, they are having the right filter. Good. All right, so that's done. Now that means we can just get a slightly more. Uh, do we have some crap here that we don't want? Yep, we do. Did I want to put it in here? Probably not. I just want to put it in here then. All right, so what we wanted to do at this point is we have our here. We want to, oh, artillery is another thing we'd like to make, make um, so that we can start clearing stuff down here. But that's not really something that's worth doing until I can also upgrade the range with artillery. And that I can only upgrade after we get um, the militaries. Oh, sorry, the infinite signs. We knew, now have, I can see that oil is kind of not doing so great. And that is definitely because this one is not upgraded. So we'll start. Oh, hold on. Am I getting confused here? Uh, yeah, we'd like to build another nuclear power plant up here. I can stamp down the easy part, this part, and then I can do the... Because I'm going to replicate this part over on that side. So basically stealing a, a line from up here and going in. We'll get that done at some point. But first, we are going to get the plastic. So there you can see there are a number of different plastic builds here. This is the one we're at right now. There. That one's good. And that one's good. And then obviously there's something about the lines here. That one's definitely not existing. That one doesn't exist. And also... Uh, 
Oh, come on. There. So we can have some modules in between, or some beacons in between, and we will be getting... Uh, oops. That one. That's done. That one. And I think it might be a good idea to have these with pumps. Not that it's super necessary, but it just, on the other hand, just feels right to remember to pump this. We also did find that even though this one is pumping at 1000, it could actually be pumping faster, but I don't, don't think it, it can't be pushing faster because there isn't any, there's too far between these. So it's actually getting stuck here. And this is one of those that I don't really like doing, but I think I have to do it because otherwise we are getting, we're getting issues in here. And this one particularly, I don't want to do. I, I really dislike the way that it's done here in, in, in factorial uh, pump pipes are just really annoying. <laughs> there. So now this one should be going quickly. And it's going in here. I think that might be good enough. And I can do that one. Get this in and then I'll do is bouncer hold on did I do something wrong here let me just check with my throughput calculation this will give 64 yeah okay so at this point it's actually pretty good to do it uh, nope don't want to do that don't want to do that at all Can I do this in it? I've, it <clears throat> Why did it have to be so messed up? There. Got it. No. That one, that one. You go down here. There. So now they are balanced and going out. We have now two full lanes. It's a bit better. It's not great, but it's definitely better. Uh, this is one of the things that we absolutely need to correct later on. Oops. But for now, now we do sort of small incremental upgrades. It's also really obvious that this one really would like to be upgraded. Red circuits. But on the other hand, we also look at red circuits here and go, hmm, it is actually looking pretty good. Now this I don't like. Why is there that big of a line over here? Uh, it's just stopping. That should probably have been done like this. Okay, next up is, this one is working. And over here for the science part is super bad that we have not upgraded these to next year. So we will. And look at the last one. Oh, how ironic it is that it's iron and it's the red and green that's kind of the slowest. That's really weird, isn't it? This one should be at the right speed. 1.5 1. 1. for each of them. Yeah, everything should be 1.5, so I don't know why these are the slowest one. All right, give me more of these. How many more do we get? We got all of them inbound, so I can take the last row. Come on, get in here. I think that if you look at it, they're all kind of only okay. And of course, with this one, I'm consuming way more than when uh, yeah, we have available. There we go, that's the 14, that's not enough. Here comes some more. Good. I have to be really careful about use where we use these because they are, they're kind of precious and we don't build them very fast. Right, so let's get, where we are in the transition of is the transition of making better builds. And now we're sort of getting the yellow assemblers and the blue belts. That's what we really want to focus on. So let's make sure we start making the blue belts so we can scale that up. That means we need to go back to our hub and find hub number one, iteration number three. Yeah, I don't know that they're the wrong color. Here, looking good. All these are flagged and this one will now be saying only when there's more than 50 in that one. And this one will go up to, and I don't want to have that here. I want this to be, 
Oh, I think one of these might be... Yeah, that one is definitely not correct. I'm going to make some sl slight changes to... Oops. To my blueprint, that one. And this one will go... Uh, I'm just going to make it up to 10,000. Yep, 10,000 is is because we need to replace the entire build. And that will also just help consume some some iron once it goes on that one and actually i can do this one actually, i really don't like these really don't like this this one should be red on now i don't want more than 2000 2000 is a very modest number there and there that goes fine this one has the right nope it does not as expected this one does not uh, good so I think this is kind of working I don't again I don't want this one I want it to be filtered 1000 of these that's insane that one um, yeah I think so here this one and that one will also be flagged as here. I just want a hundred of these. There. All right. So now we, this needs to be hooked up. It should be pretty simple. Got that one here. And a pump as always for these things. Boom. And we just go in and find the lubricant. Jump it there. And that one. And that one. And this is the right reason why I do it. It's so easy to tag it up, uh, to tag another line and get it in here. And it should start working. These ones have module. They're too fast. This is way, oops, way too early to put modules on these. It should be working fine. All right. What I want to do though is I want to now start working on. These are not going to be upgraded automatically, but I want to upgrade from blue to yellow, if at all possible. And the first place I want to do upgrade blue to yellow is right here. Maybe it's not super necessary, but these ones certainly are necessary. It's just a nice place to start upgrading things. And that means we now have a massive increase in our iron consumption. Here we can also see why I use the priority splitter. The priority splitter here is that I want this one to go. So that means basically I only have two lanes going further up. That is not actually a big problem. But at some point this one will be stuck. And that's why I don't take a, a full dedicated line. Because this one will stop at some point. I mean I know it's going to be like hours upon hours in the future. But still it's going to be uh, jammed at some point. And I don't think I'm going to use very much up further up here. Let's take a look at the next thing we want to do. And that would be blue belts are now starting to accrue. I will just make, I will go up and get, let's see. Oh, I don't think I need 400 of these in my inventory. Um, let me see if I can find any offshore pumps. Yeah, I do have offshore pumps. Great. So I'm going to go up here and build this horrible thing uh, for the water. It's absolutely horrendous. So I'm not going to waste uh, your time in doing it. Let's just do that. Now, all watered up. And it wasn't actually that bad. It's just go here, count the fact that it has to be less than 17 or 17 or less and sec pipe segments between two pumps. And then it's all good. We have the nuclear power plant up and running and power is now really, really good. Now, after this is kind of a typical thing for me, after you, you built one nuclear power plant before Coverex, and then once you have Coverex, you can basically have infinite uh, which is fine. You can see yeah, we've over 1100. So it's just accruing as much as it uh, it can do or it wants. This one's not getting anything. The reason why it's not getting anything is actually because I am... I'm not actually crafting it properly because we're just building it down here. Just with a bit of residual here and there. And that's kind of not enough. Let's go uh, continue on our upgrade quest here. Oh, there's actually one thing in the hub that uh, needs to be upgraded very urgently because that's the one that keeps everything else from being updated. And that is um, here. 
that one and that one these two need to be faster and they need to be ah okay that might be just i want to save the good modules here this one should be 100 good i'll take some of these because we're going to need them because we're going to get a lot of upgrades oh look at that that's actually interesting so this one decided to do here don't think that was that was not a good move for me there uh there that's what i wanted cool can can have that one being completely empty right what is it uh, oh yeah the most important thing to upgrade now this just walk through what the most important things because we are short on resources generally so we want to make sure that where we upgrade they're the most important things and most important things to upgrade is definitely that one and even even more so is here that's all i can do at this point and i will just start making the modules as or the beacons as well because right now we don't care about power anymore we got so much power that i don't think we're going to run out anytime soon this one it's working great and i'd like to get the whole thing upgraded uh, if i look at the production right now it's went to 5.4 that's that's okay but it's also like you can see the consumption speed here is too much that's okay it should be get better once i have more of these coming in uh let's see where are they coming they're coming in 48 okay they're coming in now let's get the rest of it up and running because blue circuits will always be the slowest basically we get to the point in a base where all of our resources are going into making more modules and blue belts so that we can make the base faster and that upgrade is what we're working on right now we are just slowly transitioning in and just paving over the whole thing with blue belts or uh, i know that some people go like oh why are you not using more blue belts or why are you not using uh, better modules because i don't have them and that's the kind of the pacing of the entire thing what i can do and would like to do actually is uh, make the oh that's a new up uh, new uh, icon for the optics didn't even notice that and what I, I i'd like to do that one afterwards and we can do some nuclear afterwards and then we're kind of running out of everything sort of that is not infinite science the spidertron is really an interesting thing for me to start building so i think i'd like to start build the spidertron build here we can build it except for the last one that takes spidertron and i know i have it uh, i know i have it i know i have it spidertron it's in a book but that's kind of silly to have it in a book I think that's going to be in a location if I look at it there and that one. Yeah. So this one is my spider tron. It's one of my, you know, kind of silly. It's it's a kind of a, a silly uh, um, masterclass about building a dedicated location for, 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 what is it called? Spider trons. But it's actually super useful. Oh, and by the way, there's nothing here that prevents us from actually using red belts. And none of these are going to move very quickly. So having it with blue belts is, I think, actually might be classified as a mistake. There. Uh, the difficulty becomes in the fact that I have forgotten to list what is on each part of these. So we'll have to do use our deductive skills. First of all. That one will have to be iron since it goes into that one and that one. Then it will also, since it's also going in here and this one doesn't need iron, then this is going to be iron and green. I'm going to mark these so it's easier for you as well. Afterwards, iron and green. Yep. Next one goes in here, becomes into that one and into that one. So it's going to be something this one requires that's definitely going to be steel. And this one's also going to be steel. So I think this one is only steel, but I'm not absolutely sure. Let's try that. So this is steel and you can see fishy is already coming in. And also I think for this one, I would actually prefer to have that one in as well, because it's just so silly to bring a full line in this one. This line is going to be uh, low density structures, I believe low density. Yeah. And this one we don't have yet, but that's going to be the spider -ton. And this one will be red and blue. So this one should be, what did I say was low density? Yeah. 
This one will be red and blue. And then I think we have everything we want in here. Yeah. And with this setup, then everything is coming in at the same sort of average speed for the whole build to be completed. Let's build. And <clears throat> here, sorry. This part. Right there. Cool. And iron goes all the way up here. I mean, it's probably not going to be used for anything else. Oh, sorry. Ah, stop, 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 stop. There. Yeah, and the other one was green, so we'll get, oh, we'll get the green over. That's not a great place to get the green, and one lower is better. Okay, one lower is better, so let's get the green in here. Or... Yeah, I can't do it. Yeah, it's going to be here. These are stretched at the absolute maximum, so not going to use that. Four and four and that one. Stop it. Going down, going here. In. Boom. That's the first one. Steel coming in. And that was the spider trunk coming in. Nice. So steel. Uh, I think I'll just get it on one side. Just I don't know if I need anything else. These are working. This one can now be spider tron built. Next one is low density structures, which we absolutely have. The one thing we don't have that we need here is uh, that's actually gonna munch on these. There we go. That's gonna be. First of all, a Spider-Tron remote, and then it's going to be 16 of these. Because that's what it, one Spider-Tron needs. And at this point, I only want one Spider-Tron, so there's no point in building a production line for that just yet. Right? It's 16. Yes, indeed. Uh, this one will be... And also, there's, I don't like having a built of rocket control units go all the way here and go all the way in here for very, very little. For six every time I need to make one Spider-Tron. That's just complete waste here that one that's good and now the next one will be red and blue but that's not gonna be a good place so we'll build it one less one slower one lower actually that's not going to be easy either is it now I'm gonna build it here Sometimes it gets a bit crowded. On the bus, and... Now that's done. That means, actually, it looks... I would say we are pretty good. Why is... Oh, the first ones were broken. There we go. You're going to get a bit of reds. You're going to get some reds. You're also going to get some blues. And then you're happy. And you're going to get a bit of blues. Good. And you can get all that one. And now we're just accruing these so that they can go in here. And, you know, I should actually at this point just make rocket control to zero. Because that means anything I produce will be automatically brought in here. And that will give us our one spider ton slowly but surely. And obviously you can see how little is going in here. And that's always going to be a problem since this one has to go. And I don't want to build these extra belts yet. And these are just overflow things that we'll get later. But I'll continue to do some other things on the side, which I know is going to be needed. Uh, I think I'll build this pattern. This will be some of the things that we need, like batteries, for example. That was not a battery. This will just be a kind of a sort of personal hub, but also mainly for spider -trons. So these two go in here and then I'm going to be repeating some patterns here, that one, and I'm going to make it like this. So input, 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 output. And this one will be capped to basically something 
less than two or something like that. Yeah. Two. Three. I think there are three things that need to do that go like this. That is that one. The and the last one is the rope reports. Uh, not that one. And the smaller rope report. There. So that's the idea of it. Basically, what I do is copy paste. They get in here. And then I'll supplement with the stuff that needs here. So that will be supplement with a bit of here and supplement with a bit of this one. I don't even know if that's a thing. Cool. Next one, copy, paste, a few of these, and then supplement with exactly the same things. That one, and that one. Last one, copy, paste. That's a lot of things. And the last thing here is, again, the same two things that need to go into the last one. And I need to make sure that these have a decent output. Output is two, and this one will be two shields, because there's always going to be two built in here. So this one will also be two rover ports, and then the legs are built in here, and the part the what are they called fusion reactor is built in here. So we then have all the things we would need for this, except for one little tiny thing that we don't really need a lot of, but. You know, still needs to be done. That one. Let's see. The last thing we do need is a few personal lasers. I mean, once we get to this, I'm actually kind of thinking, should I make another one that's just my fighting setup? Uh, I'm not really a fan of the personal lasers for the Spider-Tron, so I'm actually not going to build it yet. I'm just going to let it let this be as it is. As you can see, we're getting a lot of things here. That uh, A lot of things that just need to consume and it's gonna take forever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever. Why is the, oh right, this one. So all of it is not working yet. Not quite there yet. Uh, hold on, that one. And here. Boom. I guess we'll take all of this out. And that is our intersection. That'll bring us some electric engines. Good. I do... I may be able to just fix some electric engines here. Boom. Done that. And then just jam it in there. Good. I'll also pretend that I can produce a lot more here. There. And that one. Perfect. So we have now all of this built. And I'm getting up to 11, five more. I think we'll get a spider swan this episode, won't we? I think we might. What I'd like to do though is, I don't know if this is good. Maybe I just prioritize this one so that when we need to build a spider swan, that is the only thing that we focus on right here. Yeah. And I don't think I want this one, and I don't think I want that one. But I do think I want this one going. Then it's also better to just do a few of these. Uh, is there... This might be the slowest one. Is it two I need? I need two. Okay, and this one, ah, it's already pretty close to done. Pretty close to done. Uh, it just needs a bit of blue, though. How many blues do you need? There, blues. So that one completes, that one completes. Once this one completes, then it'll be done. And this one, how close are you? Yeah, you're pretty close. You need to go to 81. We are just gonna wait this out. This one is building. And when it goes in here, this one will be building. How long is it? That's like 60, oh, 60 seconds. Got all the legs. Missing one, missing one, and missing three. Those are the ones that we are working on. Then let me see over here. I got one. I got one. I got zero. Is it something working? Oh, batteries. I don't think we have batteries actually input into the into the network. I think they're just sort of hovering. So let's uh, get the batteries in and then build the, get the spider tongue going. 
here. There's always going to be some of these things that just don't really work there. Swish, 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 swish. You are, don't need a lot of batteries, but just like, I don't know, 200. There we go. All good. Now the red ones are being consumed. That's good. And blue ones are working much better. Uh, this is consuming too much. Uh, well that That's cool. This one, I'm just missing the last bit. Once this one's done, then we actually have everything needed and we can get our first little spiders on to go out. Yay! That was actually surprisingly easy to get that spider drone, I guess. I will get the remote there. No, I'll get the remote there. I think. No, I'll get there because this one will then be artillery. I'll put it here. Come on. Last one is done. And this one is working. We got the spider drone. That's going to be the big achievement of today. Getting that spider drone up and running. I'm pretty happy about that. Now, this one will continue to work for a while. But there, Spider-Tron. We're obviously not going to go out with it. And this one will be called Nilostron. There we go. And of course, it's going to be a better color. There we go. Nice and purple. I'll hook the emote, <laughs> emote remote up to that. And the next thing we want to do is check if we have one of these and three of those. Perfect. Grid. I'll also show how I always do this. You're very welcome to do it differently. And I'll try not to tell you wrong if you do that. And this one, two of those. And one of these, yes please. How is this one not working? Okay, it's pretty close to working. And I'm gonna get two batteries. I'm gonna get one, two, three. And one RoboPort. So this one is not working because Is that simply just the speed that it's coming in with, or what? Seven fifty in logistics stores. Yeah, it's just simply too slow coming in. Maybe that's not really a big deal later on, but right now it's a big deal. That one, boom, and then we'll do some logistics. I'll show you how it works. See, personal logistics, auto trash, and it's over here. Enable logistics while moving. I only want it to work when it's standing still. So what are the things that we want here? We want to make sure that we maintain some robots. So you get 50 robots. You get some repair packs. Thank you. You will need to get some laser turrets because you need to replenish the laser turrets out in the out in the world. There we go. You probably need some, uh, maybe some of these. And you probably need to also once in a while repair a one of that. Then there's some things I definitely don't want that you might once in a while pick up, like wood and coal and stone, if you're just helping clear out some things. Those we don't need. And then the big one is obviously rockets. You kind of need rockets on this one. So let's get a nice 2,000 rockets coming in. And there we go. That's the snake coming in. And what about my robots, though? Oh, these are not available for... Huh. There we go. And that means our Spiderton is pretty much all good right now. It The only thing it's missing is... Grid there. This is the complete grid that I like to use. And I, I would recommend it. And it works really, really well. I am not going to take it for a spin because that's how what you call a cliffhanger or a teaser. So that will be something you, you can endure, enjoy, endure. Great. Uh, next episode. There. Let's get down here to actually go there. Oh, I, I lost my spider on. It went away here. And now something cool about the mod that I'm using, this the finding vehicles, it also finds the spider drone. And if you hold this one, it zooms directly to the spider drone. Super nice. Super, super nice. And you can see, yummy, lots and lots of, the ammo goes up to 800 first, and then it fills the rest into the inventory. There we go. Everything else is done. It looks like it. All right, that is gonna be it. Oh, the, the poor biters will never know what hit them because now we have a spider drone. That spider drone will help us expand out here. 
we'll be needing to expand down here to get some copper and some iron, some stone not in the not too distant future. Also just generally help us go out there. We will be using artillery at some point, but does uh, in the future. Next episode will probably be rocket parts as we start accruing blue belts as well. We can maybe start uh, scaling up some blue belts here and there. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you are enjoying this ep these episodes and I hope you want to follow as we continue all the way to launching rockets and into mega base territory. Thank you for watching and as always, stay effective.